My name is Rose, and today we're going to be going over the year-end closing process in Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2015. Now the first step in this process is setting up your next accounting period. And to do this, we're going to navigate to Departments, Financial Management, Periodic Activities, Fiscal Year, and then we're going to click on Accounting Periods to open the Accounting Periods list page. If we go to the Home tab at the top of your screen, you're going to see that we have this Create Year function. If we click this button, it's going to take you to a pop-up box where you can run the function. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is enter your starting date. And this is obviously going to be the date on which your fiscal year starts. So we have January 1st, 2019 in our example here. This next field is going to be the number of periods in your fiscal year. And there can be anywhere from 1 to 365 periods. Now, because in our example, we want to have each accounting period as one month, and there are 12 months in a year, we're going to have 12 in this field right here. The next field we're going to take a look at is this period length field. And this is how long each accounting period will be. So we have 1M entered here for one month, but you could also enter 1D if you wanted to have you know, one day as your period length, or you could enter 1Q for one quarter, and so on. Next, you're going to click OK. And then if we scroll down, you can see on the list page here that our new accounting periods have been automatically created. The next step in the closing process is we're going to need to close our current fiscal year. So if we go back to our ribbon, you can see right next to the create year function, we have a close year button. So we're going to click this function and you're going to see this message box pop up on the screen. Now the year that defaults here is going to be your earliest open year that you have in your system. You're going to want to confirm that this is the year that you want to close, and then you're going to click Yes to close the fiscal year. And then if we scroll down, you can see that every single accounting period has the closed and the date locked fields checked. And then if you try to manually uncheck it, you can see that the fields have been locked in. And you're also going to notice that the first period for the next fiscal year has also been locked in. And this is going to make it so that you can't modify the period lengths for the closed periods.